solving a linear inequality with multiple occurrences of the variable. Problem type 3. Solve the inequality for v. 2 minus 7 halves v is greater than or equal to 9 halves subtract 5 eighths v. Simplify your answer as much as possible. Alright, so we have this inequality and we're going to treat it mostly like an equation. So first we want to get rid of all of our fractions. And so we are looking for a common denominator and we know that 8 is a multiple of 2 times 4 so we don't need to worry about these 2's because that's already part of 8 so we're just going to multiply everything in the whole equation by 8 each term by 8 so we're going to multiply 8 times 2 that gives us 16 8 times negative 7 well, let's do subtract 8 times 7 divided by 2v greater than 9 times 8 over 2 subtract 5 times 8 over 8v. Okay, can you see how the 8 made it into each part of our equation? Now we're going to use this 8 to help us reduce. We solve that 16. The 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. And we solve the V. 9 times, oh, let's first do 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 9 gives us 36. And then this 8 reduces with this 8 to equal 1, so we have just a negative 5b. Okay, so now we want to have our v's be together and our numbers be together. So let's add 28v to both sides. That will give us 16 over here, still greater than 36. Now a minus 5 plus 28 gives us 23 v's. Now we need to get this 36 over here with a 16. So we'll subtract 36 from both sides. That gives us minus 20 is greater than or equal to 23 v. Now that v is still not by itself. so. It's being multiplied by 23, so we want to divide by 23 to get rid of it. Because 23 is the coefficient. So we're dividing by that number on both sides. So now we have negative 20, 20 thirds is greater than or equal to V. And that will be our answer. I'll show it to you. Can you see it now? Sorry, it was too close to the bottom.